Phoenix Rising is Generation Zero's second major content expansion. And since I already shared some thoughts on Generation Zero, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about the game's first expansion to release since I made that video. So I thought we could use this time to go over what Phoenix Rising gives you, whether or not you buy it, and then I'll just share some closing thoughts on how it looks for the game moving forward. So to get things started, let's talk about Phoenix Rising and how it affects Generation Zero's overall story. Not only is the story gonna move forward, but things are gonna change in the world. Whether or not you buy the DLC, two major areas are gonna change in the game forever. They're gonna look more robotic, more mechanical, and less like what they were. Those two regions are Farmland and South Coast. So if you're playing the game before the expansion releases, take a good look, because once Phoenix Rising hits, everything's gonna change. And with this new visual update to the area, there's also a new robot that will try to murder you as you progress through these fancy new regions. An upgraded harvester, and I actually haven't fought one of these yet, but I know they're big and scary, and there's another version of it that's gonna be walking around trying to kill you, so look forward to that in Generation Zero's second expansion. There's actually some good news too for the player, and that is that there are new challenge trees to climb, there's new outfits to create, new weapons to find, and other goodies that have been added to the game. This is the free stuff that you get just when Phoenix Rising releases. Now let's talk about what you actually get when you buy the DLC. Phoenix Rising adds 10 main missions to the story. In addition to that, you have 10 side quests to go through. These quests will give you gear that you can't get otherwise, and you'll meet NPCs that you wouldn't meet otherwise. All in all, there's just more to do in Generation Zero. With all that out there, just know that the expansion is $7.99 US dollars on Steam. I think that's pretty fair, considering what we're getting. And also considering how much has been added since the last expansion, you're getting your money's worth with an $8 expansion, I think. PlayStation 4 version and the Xbox One version won't be out until later this summer. And unfortunately, I do play on PS4, so I will be waiting for that, but I am excited. Creativity is the greatest strength of humanity. If something you need does not exist in nature, you invent it. When I first saw that trailer, first thing I thought about was the voice you hear, and that is the voice of Phoenix, or I suppose the hive mind of all the robots. And I found that to be kind of creepy, a little condescending, and sort of perfect for what the game's going for. They've been quiet up until now, but now we're hearing Phoenix talk, which means that we're upsetting them a lot. There's a personality coming out of these robots, a little more humanity than you would have expected. To see that is great. I think that's gonna move things ahead. It's gonna make the game feel more complete, and we're gonna learn more about what Phoenix's ambitions were when they decided to take over Sweden, and maybe even the world. Also, I noticed there was a mission that players were running around a giant truck, and I can only assume that's a type of transport mission, an escort mission maybe. And while no one loves escort missions, I think it's great that they're adding mission types to the game. In general, that tells me that Systemic Reaction is thinking of new ways for players to enjoy Generation Zero. And in the end, I think that's perfect, because a game like this is growing constantly, so of course they have to add new modes and new ways to play to keep people invested. So this is easily the biggest update that Generation Zero has ever gotten. The world's changing, the story's getting even more flushed out. Overall, I think that just shows us that the game is not stagnant. To have a map fully changed gives us a before and an after experience. So there are players who are gonna remember how South Coast looked before everything. And then there are players who are only gonna have experienced the new South Coast. And that's something that games much bigger than Generation Zero are doing. So for them to be attempting that, I think speaks a lot to what their ambitions are for the game and how they wanna keep it moving and growing around the player. And I think that's pretty neat. But with all that in mind, I really do appreciate your time. This is a quick little thought on what's coming with Phoenix Rising. I'm interested in seeing what you think about this. Uh, are you playing Generation Zero now? Are you gonna play it now that this update's coming out? What are your thoughts on this expansion? Is it changing your outlook on the game at all? And of course, if you like this video, please do me a favor and like the video. It's as easy as that. And if you're not already, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm gonna be working on weekly updates moving forward and I'd love for you to be a part of that and watch what I got coming down the pipe. Appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great week. And good luck in Phoenix Rising. I'm, uh, I'm a little worried about these big harvesters, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs>